All right, welcome back to Math Smash. In this video, we're going to be looking at brackets, expressions, and equations. Okay, in the first question here, we've got three bracket m plus two, and then we've got our tri bar. So I'm just going to write the question out again here. And you can see that uh, basically we're going to take the 3 and we're going to multiply it by everything inside the bracket. So I go 3m plus 6 because 3 times 2 is going to be 6. And that's how you do it, basically. That's quite straightforward. Now let's have a look at the next one. Uh, it says expand 5 bracket 3y plus uh, 8. Okay, so again, I'm just going to write the question out again. I'm going to multiply the 5 by everything inside the brackets, and that'll get rid of the brackets. So 5 times 3, is, just in case you can't remember, is 15. So I'll just draw a little arrow here. That's 15, and I can't forget the y. Okay, it's 15y plus, and then 5 times 8. Okay, so 5 times 8 is going to be 40. So I'm going to just write a little arrow here, and I'm going to write 40. Okay? And that's our answer, 15y plus 40. Okay, the next one says expand and simplify. So this is a little bit more than the previous question. Uh, again, uh, we have a 6, and then bracket, and then 2q minus 1, subtract 4, bracket 3 plus 2q. Okay, so uh, again, I'm just going to write that out a little bit bigger. And uh, again, I'm going to multiply the numbers outside the brackets by everything inside the brackets. Okay, so I've got 6 times 2 gives me 12q. Don't forget the q. People often forget the q. And I've got 6 times negative 1. Now that's a negative 1, that mean, and I'm multiplying it by positive 6. So that means a positive multiplied by a negative gives me a negative, so that's going to be negative 6, subtracting. Now I multiply 4 times 3, gives me 12. Alright, and plus, and then 4 times uh, the coefficient 2 gives me 8q. Okay, so now I've got rid of the brackets and I'm going to start getting rid of uh, the 8. So I subtract 8q from both sides. Alright. Now those, the positive 8q and the negative 8q cancel each other out, so now I'm left with 12q subtract 8q gives me 4q, subtract 6 minus 12, okay, so we've got 4q, negative 6, negative 12, that's going to give me negative 18, alright, and that's my expand and simplify. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. We are expanding 3f, bracket f minus 9. Alright, so this sort of question often messes people up a bit because uh, you have to remember that you've got two f's being multiplied together. So if I had 2 squared, that would mean the same thing as 2 times 2. And if I had 3 squared, that would mean the same thing as 3 times 3. And if I had 4 squared, that would be 4 times 4. Well, this is f times f, which is going to be f squared. So I just go 3f multiplied by f is going to be 3f squared, subtract, and then 3 times 9. Now remember, that's a positive 3 multiplied by negative 9 is going to be negative 27. And then don't forget the f. Don't forget the f. So you've got 3f squared minus 27f. All right, and that's your expansion. Okay, moving on to our next one. We've got 2x minus 7 equals 23. All right. Well, the first thing I'd like to do is get rid of that 7. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. Now, if you think about a scale, uh, you need to try and keep it balanced, all right? So whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So here, I'm going to add 7, okay? so that I can cancel it out, so then I add 7 to the other side of the equal sign. So I've got 2x, 23 plus 7 makes 30, and now I'm going to divide by 2 so that I can get rid of that 2. So I divide by 2, again, both sides, because I want to keep that balance steady. 
So that gives me with x equals 15. Okay. Now, next one. This is my favorite one. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Form and solve an equation to find the value of t. Well, the first thing we know is that the word equation tells us that there's going to be an equal sign somewhere in our working out. And an isosceles triangle says that the sides of these two lines means that those two sides are equal. Okay, so there you go. We, we've basically got our equation. We've got 4t minus 7 has to equal, be the same as, from our question here, 2t plus 11. Okay, so now I'm going to take this 2t away from here and from the other side. That Those two, those two, two t's cancel each other out. So that leaves me with 2t on the left side minus 7 equals 11. And I just bring that 11 down like that. Okay, so now I want to get rid of that negative 7. So I have to add 7 to both sides. Remember our balance. We're trying to keep both sides of the balance steady. Okay, whatever I do on one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm taking, I'm adding 7 to both sides. So the negative 7 and the plus 7 cancel each other out. And that leaves me with 2t equals 11 plus 7 is 18. So 11 plus 7 is 18. Okay, and now obviously I'm going to divide by 2 to get rid of the 2, and I do that to both sides again. That leaves me with t equals 18 divided by 2 is going to be 9. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Don't forget that whatever you do to the left side, you have to do to the right side and vice versa. Good luck.